And at this point, I got to say, cool story, bro. You got proof? Take pictures? All right. I was going to actually walk you through that uh, model uh, that the, the code that I've got. But just a few weeks ago, uh, one of the guys from TestRigger reached out to me and said, hey, would you like to take a look at our tool? And I said, oh, sure. And it turns out they are actually doing this, uh, clicking on buttons, entering text, generating uh, regex to, to in order to generate unique uh, emails every time they go through this. And at this point, I'm going to switch to a live demo. Hopefully this all goes well. And let's see how this goes. So I'm going to do this against my sand, uh, sandbox, uh, sandbox website. It's candymapper.com. And it has a pop-up challenge. It says, hey, yeah, clear this pop-up before we can do anything else. Uh, I've also got test rigger over here, which has got all my test cases in it. And we've got the test rigger in uh, add-in. I'm going to go click on it. And it's going to say, hey, do you want to click on the current tab or do you want to start a new recording? I'm going to stay on the current tab. Uh, there are different test suites I've got playing around with. I'm going to work with Candy Mapper. This is my production site for that. And I'm going to call this the Testing Mind Demo 3. All right. And I'm going to start a new recording. This guy is going to start flashing up here. He says he's recording. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to clear this. I'm going to click on that X. And in my test, I'm going to go click on Get in Touch. We're going to put in my name, Paul, over here. And I'm going to go click send in order just to generate an error. Now, the error message just says, please enter a valid email. So I'm going to go and enter in my email, the dark arts wizard at gmail.com, like so. I'm going to say, hello, testing mind attendees sounds cool and i'm going to go click on send and i said tello well i guess i invented a new word okay cool the last thing i want to do is say thank you for your and verify thank you for your inquiry i'm going to go over back over here to this test rigger and we're going to stop the recording and take a look at what we got, TM video, uh, Demo 3. Take a look at what we got over here. So we've got this click, and it's got some really weird stuff in there. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in just a moment. Over here it says click, get in touch, enter Paul into name, click send. Uh, we clicked on the valid e email address. Now, I did click on it, but what I want to do is actually verify that. And I ended up doing it twice. So I'm going to take one, one line out. I'm going to change this. Let's see. What would be a good way? Oh, check, check that page contains plain English over there. Please, that. Okay, we're going to go enter my, oh, I entered the, my wrong email. I, I misspelled my own email. Let's go fix that. The dark arts wizard at gmail.com into email. And then... Let's see, I didn't want to say hello, I want to say hello. Okay, hello testing mind attendees into the message, click on the send, and then the last thing we did there, again I did it twice, is that we want to say click. Thank you for your inquiry, we'll get back to you. We'll do that. All right, oh, I didn't want to click on it, I wanted to say check that page contains e e easy English stuff there. Let's go add this and give it a run. It's been created. We'll go back over to test rigger. Test rigger now has this new test over here. <laughs> there we go. It's because it started off. So it's taking screen captures as it goes along. It just cleared out that pop-up message. And it is now populating my text. You can see under the underneath here, it's saying description, click, get in touch, and click that the page contains. Please enter a valid email address. And this stuff is very light. It is a green over there. And if there was an error, it would come back in red. All right. We are just finishing up over here. Check that the page contains. Thank you for your inquiry. We will get back to you. It didn't run on my test or my laptop. It ran on a 
uh, system out in the cloud, which is pretty cool. Um, but I did say I wanted to edit one thing. We just got a few minutes left in order to take care of that. I mentioned that this click over here, I did do a recording playback. And by the way, you can create your own uh, module. You can do modular design with this. I know everybody says, oh, recording playback, stay away from that. You stay away from it unless you don't know the language, you don't know how the tool works. Recording playback is great for learning how to get your feet wet in this for, for beginners. I'm going to change this and say, I don't want to click on that. I'm going to describe this. I want to click on the first button on the right top of, and the name of that pop-up was the pop-up challenge. Did I spell it right? Challenge, quote like that. And by the way, if you hit my website twice, it only pops up the first time. So we're gonna say if it exists. We're gonna hit an update on that. Oh, and one more thing, I'm gonna make this fail at the end. Monsters, because it's near Halloween and my website is does have a Halloween uh, uh, theme to it. So we're gonna do update and retest and see what happens. Here's our pop-up. That's taking a little bit more time because it takes a little bit more uh, stuff to, to figure out exactly where stuff is. Give it a moment. It's clicking on and it cleared it. It absolutely cleared it. Uh, click on get in touch. I'm going to pop this up over here for one second. You can see it actually found get in touch and it highlighted it in purple. So it says, yeah, I found that's the one I found. And at the very end, it is populating in our messages over here, saying click on send, highlighted in purple. It says, hello, testing mind attendees. There's my correct email address. And it is. One other validation, we want to check that the page contains, please enter a valid email address. And it does say, please enter a valid email address. That is pretty cool. And the last thing is it's taking a little bit of while, but it is checking for to see if all these uh, monsters are appeared. I'm not sure if you can see this on the screen. This is green, but this is red. We are looking to see, thank you for your inquiry. We'll get back to you monsters. Well, there is no monsters up there. We've got most of the screen and the text up there, but it doesn't say monsters. All right, guys, that is test rigor. I hope you like that really cool demo that does all that stuff there. Cool story, right, Rob? All right. We're going to go to our last line item here. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that live demo that we did with you guys. Uh, last thing I promised you was talk a little bit about some good podcasts and places to go. Do keep learning. And one great place thing to do when we're learning is, uh, let's see, oh, uh, get books. Books are really cool like the continuous testing for DevOps professionals. I love that book there. That is by Aaron Krinsburner. Uh, there's the complete guide to test automation from Aaron Axelrod. Uh, Karina Pip has a whole section on the waiter library. Get even deeper into figuring out the right and quickest ways to find your elements. So I, I've met Karina uh, at other conferences, great person. As I mentioned, there is Joe Colantonio at the Automation Guild. Um, and my, mine was uh, 103. And I think it's if you go to 176 and 276, you'll also find more about me. And of course, last, I wanted to mention Lee Barnes at Utopia Solutions. Um, that, uh, that This guy is just great. He speaks at a bunch of conferences and, and is a fantastic, uh, a fantastic boss. I can't, I can't say, say anything more. Can't say more about him. So um, that's basically the end of my presentation. That took, I think, about 40 minutes. So I'm going to say let's turn it over to, uh, I'll stop sharing, and let's go to our Q&A if, uh, if I can get my mouse over there to stop sharing.